which type of mindset do you have is it the growth mindset or the fixed mindset hey guys so today let's dive into a transformative concept called the growth mindset this mindset can be a powerful tool for success and we are here to uncover it so let's get started so what is growth mindset it's a term coined by psychologist carol dweck and it refers to the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work and persistence unlike the fixed mindset which sees abilities as unchangeable a growth mindset strives on challenge and sees failure not as evidence of unintelligence but as a springboard to growth so why is it so important why is it important to have a growth mindset because your mind and mindset shapes everything about you and everything that you do all right your ability to overcome challenges your ability to thrive your ability to f- make tough decisions your ability to basically do anything in life depends on your mindset so the way you react whenever challenges in life is thrown at you depends on the kind of mindset that you have all right on the contrary a person with a fixed mindset believes that things should be the way it is all right and probably they should resort to um the easiest way to overcome it they they, they, they they believe that life shouldn't be that hard all right they don't believe in continuous persistence they don't believe in driving and working hard i mean they believe in fighting but they don't believe that it should make sense to fight to the ultimate so with the first mindset you basically would avoid challenges you will avoid failure because you don't want to fail in the first place but a growth mindset encourages you to take challenges and even take out new challenges, all right? Because it's only through that you can learn and persist in the face of um, setbacks. So now, what would you settle for? A growth mindset or a fixed mindset, all right? I recommend you choose a growth mindset. So how do you develop a growth mindset? When you're learning something new and uh, things get a bit tough, all right, how do you react, all right? You just stop or you see that as a chance, all right, to prove yourself that you can make it work regardless of all the setbacks. For some, whenever they are faced with challenges, they believe that's the time for them to grow. And whenever you face those setbacks, ask yourself, what really did I learn from it, all right? As someone with a growth mentality, whenever you fall, right, you try to analyze and ask yourself what went wrong right what did i do wrong you learn from it or you proceed further take a step back or double down i mean i'm not too old but i've learned through life that failure is a lesson in disguise and every lesson if learned well all right it's a blessing so actually failure is a blessing in disguise and in our part of the world where we have limited chances limited opportunities and so many blockades and obstacles all right we get confronted with constant opportunities to prove that we can do something all right then we can make something out of this blockade or we can break the walls and try it have you realized that whenever an african all right leaves the shores of africa and subtle say europe or america they try it all right because we are been toughened all right we have been pushed all right we have been squeezed all right we have faced tougher life so we end up in europe or us we realize i mean life as hard as it looks like all right it's not as tough that i've faced already so it's not new to them all right so that's the reason why a lot of us or a lot of africans who say end up in europe or the west try it because the hurdles or the blockades that they face there can never be compared to what they faced here when they were in africa all right there's this particular guy that i know all right i don't want to just name him let's call him kwame okay He's a young entrepreneur from Accra. I mean, Kwame dreamed of starting his own tech company, but his first time venture failed, all right? Instead of giving up, Kwame embraced this failure as a learning opportunity. He analyzed his mistake and sought mentorship, all right? I worked with this guy before, all right? And starting a tech company in where he started from, basically started from a city called Takrad, all right? And he had no opportunity at all. At a point, I realized he wanted to quit and find a job, all right? When he moved to Accra thinking things would be a bit different, he realized that basically Accra definitely would be better than Takrade in terms of opportunity, but he was faced with the same hurdles, all right? So he took a step back and analyzed the whole thing, sought mentorship, learned how to build connection. Then he realized that the only thing that he lacked, all right, is connection, all right? And, and as he found that, as he found that and began to get connected, learning how to build connection, in the tech area right now is it extremely well <laughs> i mean like it's one big guy in a crack in, in, the, in the tech space Kwame's story is just a typical example of how growth mindset can lead to success it's not about being the best too it's about getting better it's about learning it's about growing it's about overcoming obstacles so it's about it's about i mean it's about 
anything uncomfortable <laughs> okay basically that is it it's about anything uncomfortable and as i wrap up i just want to ask you what type of mindset do you have do you have a growth mindset or do you have a fixed mindset just think about it and also think about how to shift from the fixed mindset to growth mindset because that's the only way to try it and that's the only way you can get at least comfortable later and remember it's about journey it's not about destination it's not about competition i mean don't give a them about anybody just do your best just do your bit all right just cry just fight just strive just i mean like be the odd one out all right i remember i mean like in my life i've been the odd one out for a long time people do not tend to understand me and i've never tried to fit in anything all right i just do me i just try to do what i think will work and if it doesn't work i just get back to my room if i have to cry i cry you just have to rebuild i mean i've built and it crashed and i have to rebuild again i think it's normal and i've seen the result and still seeing the result of all these hard work in the past so it works so I just want to end by saying, embrace your challenges, learn from your setbacks, and keep moving, buddy. Keep moving. So if you like this video, kindly subscribe or follow me on this particular channel, all right? And yeah, I just got on BeSocial, all right? So if you're not on BeSocial, make sure that you hop on BeSocial and also follow me on BeSocial. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.